Well, yes, hello, beautiful people of Uganda, and welcome back to the U Turn Flex. Always keeping you updated. Thank you for being here with us. The usual host, Alinda David Wamumbi, the noisy one. And the senator, thanks for having me this week. Welcome to the show. Yes, um, my name is uh, Pastor Simon Anyonga, pastoral assistant writer at this very altar of Deliverance Church, Chirwa. I'm always glad to interact with you, and may God bless you mightily, our dear audience. Yes, and we have a beautiful guest uh, here with us. Uh, please, guest. Well, you should be saying a handsome guest. A handsome <laughs> guest. <laughs> <laughs> handsome but taken guest. Okay, yes. Yeah. Mm. All right. Well, uh, my name is Nasa Kakumba. Thank you for hosting me. I happen to be the chairperson Men of Valor. Thank you very much, the Men of Valor in the house. Drum roll. Well, obviously we have a content for you today. I can't say I can't lie that you don't have content for you today, but we o we always have content, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, exactly. So let's first go into the details of the men of valor. The men of valor have been a blast this year. That one I have I have, I have to accept the dinners, the food, the food. The dinners, <laughs> and not forgetting also the sports activities, uh, because uh, the sports activities have engaged most of them. Also, not forgetting Kali, the food has also engaged the men of Valor. Eh? Mm. You know, when there is food somewhere, eh, it calls upon uh, very many points, attracts people's attention. Eh? We can actually also use food to minister to people. Do you know that? Mm. Yes. yes mm. So please, Mr. Kakumba, come help me emphasize what has been taking place. What? What? Let me see. What are your goals that you fulfill this year? Considered like in the bracket of the men of valor, you can um, you can specify in terms of the sports activities that have been going <laughs> on or the dinners that are coming. Eh? Sorry, the breakfast that is coming up. <laughs> oh, yes. mm. Well, thank you so much. You've been emphasizing the, the dinners, and we had oh, 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 we've had not we've not had any dinner this yes, year. Yes, yes. <laughs> okay, sorry, not dinners, but <laughs> but uh, but uh, those occasions where there is food. Oh yes, yes. Well, uh, thank you so much, David. We. We went into the leadership of the men of Valor in um, in March this very year, mm. and when we were given a chance to lead the men, we we embarked on a, a plan on how we can, you know, engage men both uh, economically, spiritually, and as uh, and physically. So mm. we have had a series of activities this year, yes. and I really thank God for. Uh, the ability that he has given us, but also most importantly for the men who have given us audience and participated in a number of activities that we have had. Yes. Maybe to give you a recap of what has happened this year uh, mm. in our ministry, first we of course uh, have a team, mm. a, a team, a consecutive team of the men of around seven members okay. that have been very, very, very uh, instrumental in making sure that we, we have this kind of success that we have achieved. Mm. And uh, we had an overnight, a very good overnight. Mm -hmm. I, I believe uh, the church is aware about that. It was a very good success. Mm -hmm. We had a very good turn up, and uh, the message was on point. And I believe a number of men benefited from that overnight. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, it's not easy to see an overnight dominated by men. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I believe that was one of the kind. Uh, mm -hmm. It was something very powerful. Yes. Then we went ahead to, you know, have a many circle. We have a many circle. Mm. It still has a few challenges here and there, but but that will be probably rectified next year. We have a many circle, so mm. men save some mm. money, mm. and uh, and uh, and uh, that money is used to you know uh, work on activities like the sports. Mm. So uh, out of that saving, people borrow some money when they pay interest. That interest is used to facilitate some of our mm. activities. Mm. So we have a good sum of our money and uh, Isaac Etung is in charge of you know managing and monitoring mm. Uh, mm. that circle. So that has been a plus for us this year. Mm. We had uh, our first breakfast meeting yes. uh, this year when we took over leadership. I would want to use to take over, but maybe there is a better word. When we, we took over leadership, we, we, we had a very good uh, breakfast meeting and in that mm. meeting, the main raised 10 million towards the construction of the church uh, at that wow. time. Uh, that's okay. the power of men when they gather. Mm. So over 10 million was collected. Uh, we went ahead and had uh, a sports activity here. Mm. Yes, we had uh, a physical exercise activity here at church. Mm. It was powerful. People exercised, including uh, uh, the elders. Yeah. Uh, I, had, uh, I saw Elder Stephen here. Yeah, I saw Dikon Wamumbi here. Mm. 
Yeah, it was very very powerful. Uh, so, so, that's uh, my dad, not me. <laughs> <laughs> so so it was powerful we, uh, and people really benefited from that activity. Mm. We 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 reached out. We reached out to our our own deacon Wamawongo when he was not well. Uh, the men came in and, and funded uh, the therapy session mm. that was powerful. Mm. We've helped many of our brothers in need. Mm. Many, a couple of them who have been in need, we've supported them yeah. with with uh, amounts worth millions of shillings. Mm. All next to that, that has been very instrumental. Amen. We've uh, we wanted to to bridge the gap between the young and the middle-aged and even the old. Mm. Mm. And we wanted to do that through having a, a sports kind of activity. Mm. So we, we, we yearned to have a, a formidable team. Mm. And I can assure you we now have a formidable team. Amen. I was seeing on one of the WhatsApp platforms of uh, DC football you know, mm. arrangement and people were complaining why we hit our colleagues over 18 <laughs> goals. Yes. So we now have a very good team. And I can see that there is a bridge of gap eh, yeah. between mm. us who are in middle ages and the young people. Mm. In fact, we were having a, a discussion in our, uh, uh, you know, committee. We said, no, we need to now see to it that we we identify very good young leaders who can help us in mobilization mm. and take over the leadership of this team. Mm. And that is how we came up with uh, the two names of uh, David Wamumbi to mm. be our team captain mm -hmm. for now, not because... He's one for of now. our. For he, now. He's the best. For now. <laughs> yeah. For now. For now. And uh, our brother Stephen to also deputize him. Then we saw Darren to work with Napete in the coordination, yes. and our other players are also very good. So, so it's about offering leadership, mobilization, mm. and we saw them as very viable candidates. Mm. So I can assure you now we have a very good team, and uh, through our mobilization ways of finances, we are sustaining that team. Mm. So we believe that uh, bigger, bigger, bigger things are to happen mm. again. A number of activities have really taken place. We had uh, another engagement at Pastor Wangwe. We are mm. under, under the theme uh, bridging the gap or the missing links between the ladies' expectations. Yes, uh, the expectations the ladies have in us, husbands and men. So we had that that session at at Pastor Wangwe's place. Mm. It was. Yes. It was uh, very educative and insightful mm. of how best we can be better, better husbands, either now or even to be, because I believe at one point in time, my brother David will be a husband. Mm. Ah, yes. 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 Amen. Yeah, well. My brother Amen. Sunday will be. Yeah. So, so uh, these are, are things that we saw very, very important. And the year has really, really been, uh, uh, I mean, we've engaged in a number of activities. We visited our brother's farm, brother, brother Weguro, visited yes. his farm yes. to see to it that people tap into uh, uh, the, the agriculture features. Yes, the agriculture, the skills, the, skills, yeah. the knowledge, those who would want to venture into that world, mm -hmm. I believe uh, benefited a lot. We've had two, if not three, services led by men. Yes. 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 Oh. Hey, <laughs> the men have been leading services here. Yeah, yeah. It has been a year not even a year because we came into leadership in March, mm -hmm. but a year of uh, impact, 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 yes, and engaging yes, the entire yes, men's yes. ministry. Mm -hmm. We thank the church administration for mm -hmm. giving us mm -hmm. an opportunity. Mm -hmm. uh, we also, and most importantly, by the way, came up with a kind of a, a document, call it a mm -hmm. policy document, mm -hmm. constitution, memorandum, mm -hmm. to, to guide the leadership of the men. Uh, yes. We are yet to present it to pastor yes. or the church administration, mm -hmm. where we say that... Uh, Men's leadership should be two years, mm -hmm. a term of two years that can be renewed uh, after another two years, if possible. Mm -hmm. And the reason why we thought this is important mm -hmm. so that we do not have leadership of eternity. Mm -hmm. eh? you, you get into a position, it is not easy to say, please step aside. You know, this is church. Somehow it may not be so easy. So we're like, okay, let us have leadership that has, uh, that has a time frame a time frame, you know, that I'm serving from here mm -hmm. up to here, mm -hmm. so that other people can also have an opportunity, opportunity. to lead. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. a church is a, a nursery bed, mm -hmm. and it should give uh, opportunity for, for other seeds to germinate. Mm -hmm. 
Yes. yes. And that's why we see David germinating now in the sports. Eh? Yeah. I'm <laughs> oh yes. Oh yes. Mm. He has the skill. Yes, oh. okay. Thank you very much uh, for that information. As you can all will see that uh come uh, Sunday we have a game that is going to be taking place at Abja Park. Uh, so if you're in the area, if you're bored, you have nothing to do, you can come along and you watch the match with us. Or we're going to be streaming live, so you can uh, tap in our YouTube channel mm. and you watch us live. Yes, so thank you very much, uh, Mr. Kokumba, for that. Uh, thank you for being here with us. Mm, thank and you. really appreciate your presence. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. And greetings to the men of Valand. I appreciate for the opportunity too. Uh, 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 maybe the greetings to the men of Valand. You are the men of Valand. Hey, we are the men of Valand. You are the men of Valand. Amen. Amen. And All we right. need to give him another term of office. Because he's a very capable man. Oh, with yeah. his, uh, with his deputy, Mr. Wanyama. Mm. Yeah, so by Mr. the way. Mr. Kakumba has really, mm. uh, you know, he has really shown great leadership skill with Mr. Wanyama. Mm. And so with the committee. Because mm. you see how elaborate, you know, how active they have been engaging. Very Mr. active. Uh, on the pulpit here, being involved in ministry and various uh, kind of engagements mm. in the sports and everything. That is what real leadership is meant to be. So, mm. We need to give him another term. Oh. Hey, yeah, yeah, wonderful. Yeah, this coming year. Oh, yes. Yeah. I mean, that will be a discussion for another time. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. All right. Yes, well, thank yes, you. Thank you very much for b joining us today. Oh, yes. Thank yes. you. Now, we are going for a short break, and we're going to be right back. Mm. Thank you, sir. Amen. Thank you. Amen. 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 is coming in again. He's coming back. So come back from that short break, and uh, we have another special guest stay with us. Uh, she's going to introduce herself, and uh, she's going to talk a little bit of what she has displayed in front of our eyes. Mm. Yes, please, you're most welcome, <laughs> Madam Chloe Kale. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you, David, so much. Mm. Um, I'm here to introduce uh, introduce this. PC here, it's a electric pressure cooker. Yes. So um, I'm here to introduce it to you, to tell you that you should easy the way of cooking. Uh, <laughs> excuse me. Okay, so uh, we can see that uh, it has uh, a variety of buttons there. Mm -hmm. I can see fish, rice. Is that mukene? No, uh, Oreo fish. Oreo fish. Oh, mm. Oreo fish. Okay. I, like it's either meat, dry or, or fresh fish. Uh, so what mm. you're telling me that uh, this, mm. is it like a pressure cooker, you press mm. thing? Uh, the difference about this, this pressure cooker mm. for it, for it it has various buttons on it mm. whereby if you're going to cook rice it has a button for rice mm. and it just sits the the minutes like the, the minutes like the timer eh? yeah the timer 
Uh, I'm, I'm oh. seeing it can also bake cakes there, but yes. I'm seeing bad. It is true. It is true, Mr. David, because mm. it's a matter of mixing the ingredients, the ingredients yeah. together yeah. You b- with good measurements. Because yeah. okay. for this one, it is six liters. Oh. So you oh. have to make sure you, you measure what can bake mm. inside. So you pour and press where the cake is. Mm. To, it will automatically uh, the to give to you the minutes so the baking. Hey, so it's it automatically just gives you the minutes. Yes, and after baking, it will automatically still alert you that it the cake is ready. Wow! Wow! That's oh, wonderful! That's, yes. that's very modern it. machine. Yes, please. Mm. So, so you don't need to be looking at uh, this local ovens now. Mm, uh, let me see. So. Just okay. like in case you want to eat some cake, some cake at right. home, okay. mm. can easily bake for yourself at home. Okay. That means mm. you know how to even bake. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So this has simpl- uh, what you t- try and tell us that this has simplified our ways of cooking. Yes. Of course. So, uh, mm. is 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 isn't that a good thing or a bad thing? It's really it's a, a good thing. thing. It's, good. it's mm. really wonderful because uh, this pressure cooker it's a uh, energy saving piece. Mm. Uh, for it, uh, it consumes uh, 300 shillings when it comes to boiled dry beans, mm. okay. o- of which the unit of your car is 1,000. Yeah. Yes. So for it, it can cook in 45 minutes. Okay. And actually, I own one at home. So mm. I've tried wow. it Wonderful. out. I've tried cooking beans in it, mm-hmm. and mm. I... I timed my my what my timer so it consumed the exact the exact the yeah. exact minutes that minutes it takes. Minutes that it takes. Yes, please. So, on in, in terms of con- consumption, as uh, mm. Senator previously said, and on the news, uh, how 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 is it? Hel- okay, is it health wise, Kali? Is it okay no. for consumption? Like in case they put in food ingredients mm. and all. Mm. How sure are we that it is safe? Uh, this uh, PC, it has an, a non-sticking pan inside. Mm. So when you're cooking, just know your food is just safe inside. So no. like it, it covers throughout the cooking. It is uh, also uh, as requesting hygienic. Ca- ca- mm. Can you open it and you show us that, that, that cooking pan so that at least the viewers can know that it is safe? Okay, uh, Senator knows what he's doing. He has looked. Senator <laughs> is going to break it. <laughs> wow. So, wow. this is the pan. Mm. Okay. I think I'm going to show you how it operates. If you All right. To our viewers. A mm. microphone. Microphone. You just have to put the pan here, because inside mm. it's where the hot plate is. Then you put the pan inside. Mm. So this is the ele- the cable. Okay. Okay. You fix it somewhere here. Mm. Mm. It has even a, a, s- a spoon. A spoon. Inside. I can see a baby spoon okay. there. Yeah, baby All right. Spoon plus mm. a cup that can help measure. you to measure. Okay. That's nice. So after putting there, you whatever you want to cook, like you cover it properly. Mm. When but it finishes cooking, of course, mm. you have to release. There is a a thing here on top of a valve. Mm. You have to release the gas before opening, because like if you if it has the gas inside, it can't open. Oh. So you have to first release the gas, since the like in the in the cooking process there is no gas coming out. Yeah. Yeah. That like there is no pressure coming out, so you have to release the gas first, mm. then you open. Then you can open. Oh wow, that's actually amazing. Wow. Yes, wow. please. Okay, so uh, for the viewers that are out there, this mm. is a very efficient machine. Mm. It works. Uh, she has tested it herself. Uh, mm. We have a very model, though. 
ours is slightly different from that but i'll definitely want to try out that one because mm. these have actually simplified our way of living you know if you're quite busy yes. it's uh it's, since it's electric it cooks mm. very fast yes. so at least there you have a guarantee that it's going to whatever it's going to prepare your meals very fast yeah uh, by the way speaking of guarantees how how long uh, is it guaranteed to last for mm, it has a one-year warranty mm. just in case it has a problem you can reach out to me and we take it for mm. repair for free so uh please the viewers will definitely need to take your number for this one here and also not forgetting the prices uh, mm. of the variety of these pieces you have okay thank mm. you david once again this one is a uh, a six liter pc it is 220 and i have for seven liters it is 280 mm. yes and my number is uh, in case you need a piece mm. you can contact me on zero seven zero eight three eight zero one seven six i would like to say it in luganda for mm. this mm. zero msambu zero chinana msatu chinana mwemu zero msambu mkaga mm. all right thank well yes thank you very much Kani, for that Kani. And uh, we appreciate this uh, display here. We appreciate you for uh, this uh, marketing marketing skills of yours. So please kindly, guys, uh, reach out to her. Uh, highly support her. They are very efficient machines, and they'll really do good in your households. Okay. Yes. So. Uh, but I'm, I'm having an issue. Mm. <coughs> the pot inside is very, the plate is very small. Mm. Uh, no. Uh, so there are ones that has bigger. Mm. Uh, yeah. Th uh. Because this type of one will just finish the food at once oh, it is, uh, like two people eh? <laughs> two people. So if, if it is this type of two people we are going to be fighting <laughs> it's another two people we can manage yeah <laughs> mm. okay so that's what i'm just looking at but is 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 good uh, I, I think this pressure saver can save people from burning of their homes yeah sure. mm. because this is automated mm -hmm. but once the food is ready mm. the system automatically turns off and it mm. alarms yes you. that's right so, so those, that is the advantage. Mm. So, in fact, let's assume you 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 want to cook rice after washing, and then you put inside, mm. and then maybe you you want to go to the market to get. You can do that comfortably, mm. and you will come back. Your rice is ready. Yes. Actually, when you put when when it gets ready, it will automatically go. There is a. Um, the place here yeah. it, it it has keep warm it keeps your food till you serve it it just automatically goes to keep wow. warm yes till wow. you serve your food right mm. yes. see, that is why we say technology mm. is doing a whole lot of things yes in fact it is high time people brace technology mm. Mm. now look at with this mm. you can cook your food mm. just need you to no, no type of food baking that you cannot do with this. Yes. Mm. Of I'm driving somewhere. Technology is evolving a lot yes. of things. Do you know that there is automatic cannon that can drive itself? Yeah. Yes. It is yeah, there. Without mm. a driver. Mm. Mm. So don't yeah. think that you have any special job. Mm. Mm -hmm. So I just encourage us to brace up. But this is very good. In mm. fact, this December. Please, you have to order for one. For Christmas. For Christmas. <laughs> there are no discounts. Don't chicken. worry. <laughs> That's right. You can roast chicken inside this mm. fish. To clean it for, up those, for those that fear the cooking oil splashing. Uh, mm. uh, of just course. put it inside and close it. And, and first walk away. For <laughs> and walk away. <laughs> so yeah. that means that this is a very uh, time, uh, time efficient or time uh, uh, very effective in time. Yeah. Yes. Very mm. little time. Mm. You have already uh, prepared food. Uh, and again, it is a very clean way mm. of uh, cooking. You don't need to struggle so much. Mm. Um, so very modern, mm. and uh, it is actually uh, very good in uh, multitasking at home. Of course. Mm. So you can, as you're cooking this, and then 
So um, uh, it is uh, uh, pre uh, preparing food over there. You are doing other things because you have already set it. So just find, uh, come back and find everything when it's ready. So really, really, let's embrace the technology. Let's yeah. embrace and mm -hmm. take up these gadgets and really make life simple. Uh, our dear brothers and sisters Actually. in the Lord. Actually, to, uh, to add up on that, Pastor yes, Younger, there are some people who, m who may worry about the aroma. It's mm, like you yes. can roast your meat aside. Mm. This pressure cooker it can also preserve your aroma, the, the aroma you want mm, in. That, wow. that, that, that can smell. Mm. That smell mm. can cook like sweet aroma. Yes, That's sweet, sweet aroma. When you open it. Yes, exactly. I'm already picturing it, you guys. Wow. Please, eh? <laughs> You glory, can just glory, just place glory, your glory. orders. Uh, she has given you her details, mm -hmm. and uh, yes. they'll be they'll be delivered to you. Oh okay. wow! Right. Thank you, Madam Chloe, for really uh, mm. bringing up this uh, wonderful technology to us mm. and uh, the body of, to the body of Christ and to all the people all over the world. You're mm. most welcome. Mm. We, you know, we have not been having this actually here, mm. uh, but now we have somebody among us who is really who has brought services closer. Yes. So Amen. please. Let's embrace it. Yes. Okay. Thank you. And Thank prices you. remain prices. Quote so that. Support. They are affordable prices. All right. Mm -hmm. So uh, we are going to be going for a short break and shall be right back. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. Amen. Mm. Uh, That short break, and uh, we're going to be proceeding. Uh, our guest has decided to remain with us. Uh, we're going to be discussing a few details. First, uh, we're going to be talking about uh, our construction of Deliverance Church Kira. Uh, it is still ongoing. Uh, for those that are still giving, thank you very much. Uh, Pastor Simon, do you have any scriptures uh, to emphasize on the details of uh, building in terms of the church? Oh, okay. Yes. Um, I would love uh, just to give really this uh, quotation. <laughs> As mm. a word of encouragement as we are in this season of building our sanctuary okay yes. mm. uh, it's important uh, we can in fact just look at um, the word of God right uh, in in the book of Haggai mm. prophet Haggai uh, chapter 1 begin from chapter 1 go to chapter 2 all right talks about the building of the house of the Lord amen, amen. amen. and so it's the same thing that we are doing here so you'll get a word of encouragement there so mm. this is the time to build a house of the Lord, just like it was a time of Haggai, all right? It was a time for them to build a house of the Lord. So we should not look uh, at it uh, uh, that there is uh, probably in another way to say that maybe there is another time, probably later. It is mm. now. And silver and gold belongs to, uh, to the Lord. And so no wonder the Bible says in, uh, in, in Psalm 50, verse 10, that uh, cattle on a thousand hill belong to the Lord. Amen. 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 So, the other thing I would love just to say about this is that we need to give uh, generously, all right, towards this cause, this noble cause. Uh, this is our own sanctuary. And it's going to be touching nations, all right, lives all over the world, from near and far, all right. Nations are going to come, peoples are going to come from every corner, and they will be sheltered right here. All right, so that's why Second Corinthians uh, nine from uh, 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 chapter nine verse six onwards mm. uh -huh, actually is a word of encouragement for us to give generously, give cheerfully. All right, towards this noble cause, so that really um, at the end of it all, you know, God loves a cheerful giver. Yeah. You know, He blesses us in return. Amen. Amen. That's what happens. And so um, I would love uh, to say this that uh, we should really. I speak one language. Mm. All right. It is building time. It's building. All right. It is a time of contribution. It's contribution. 
Amen. Amen. You remember the Genesis 11 uh, people when they were building a tower of Babel? What did they do? They were speaking one language and they were determined to build a tower of Babel. And they built it together. All right. They built mm. it. Only that, you know, the motive was the one which was wrong there. Yeah, the motive but was wrong. But the truth is when people begin to speak one language, and say, this is our goal. This is our vision. This is what we are, we are doing now. And everybody embraces it. I tell you, that when there is oneness, I tell you nothing is impossible. Mm. So therefore, we need to, uh, let, let's all join up our hands and, 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 and mobilize or pull our resources uh, together to see that we really see this sanctuary mm. finished. Um, Exodus uh, chapter 35 and uh, take on to chapter 36. Really, um, um, uh, the building, um, uh, the, the construction of the what? Uh, of the tabernacle. Really, uh, the man of God, Moses, had uh, to get to the community of the children of Israel and really uh, he sold the idea what God told him that we in God needs, uh, wants us to build uh, for him a tabernacle, a place, a dwelling uh, for him to dwell, um, uh, for the Lord to dwell among us. All right. So, and the Bible says that those who were willing, they were the ones who gave. Mm. And they gave far beyond what was what? Required. And there were people who were already skilled, who were doing the work. Like those of Bezalel, those of Holiab. Are we together? Yes. And so, we already have the Bezalels and the Holiabs here and the team. And the, 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 the building team, the roofing team and all those. So, this work has been ongoing for a time. And so, let me tell you. That, so I want to appreciate the contribution and the unity of purpose of the body of Christ that to come to this far of the roof, roofing level, it has taken a good time, all right? It has taken unity of purpose mm -hmm. uh, of the brethren, the sisters and the brothers joining hands together and well-wishers, you know, you know, our partners here and there who really want to see that the house of the Lord is put up to perfection. Amen. Amen. So I think... At this point in time, let me, uh, let me just end up by saying, this is what the word of the Lord declares in the book of Luke. Mm. So that when you give, I'm just paraphrasing, all right, the same measure that you give, all right, mm. uh, it will be given back to, to you. Yes? Yes. When it, so in a good measure, all right, when it is pressed down, when it is flowing over, all right, so it, so, and, and goes on and goes on. So, the, so really, when we give to this noble cause, when we give uh, to, 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 to God's uh, cause, uh, what's happening in the house of the Lord, God gives back to you. Mm. And uh, I would love to encourage people, do not wait to say, uh, I, I want to wait for a time when I become a multimillionaire. When I become a billionaire, that's when I will I'll contribute uh, um, in, in, in any project in the house of the Lord or whatever is happening in the house of God. Please, with the little that you have, the little earnings you have, please just determine to say, Lord, I'm giving this, I'm pledging this, or I'm giving in cash. Mm. I tell you that God whom we believe in is a faithful God. He will bless you. He will uplift you because he looks at your head. Yes, you have a giving heart. You have got a generous heart. You have a desire to give, to bless the work of God. God, in return, will give you back. No matter how little your contribution is, depending on what you earn, no matter how much it is, for those who earn much, give much. Amen. Amen. And give in faith. I tell you, God will reward abundantly. Amen. That is the God whom we believe in, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Mm. Amen. Let me Amen. end there. Well, yes, Amen. thank you very much, Pastor Simon, for that uh, small thank talk you. about the building. You know, the more we give, the more we are blessed. Eh? Yes. So, actually, we all learn from that. I, uh, I, I can agree from everyone, right? Mm, yeah. Uh, we agree from that. So, uh, Senator, yes. uh, you yeah, that, that? No, you good, I think eh? it's, it's okay. It's the okay, right? Yeah, everything is in order. Yeah, uh, beca because... Mm. Just be part of the building. Yeah. In whatever form you can just be part of it. Uh, it may be 1,000 shillings, but. Mm, just be part. Ka pastor 500. Say, pastor says something. God sees the heart. Mm. Yes. So you you would have wished to give 1 million shillings, but mm. you don't have. 
Yeah. And then you give 1,000 shilling that you have gosses. And, and they will reward you that car one million that you desire. Yeah, so that is and not not forgetting is. Uh, these uh, when I was in high school, we also had uh, this uh, motto for the honorable Zen as a CJ in my ole, sorry in my A level. Mm. Uh, we had uh, okay our logo, okay our motto eh, as honorables were united we stand, yes. divided we fall. We fall. So you know when you're united together, eh, you mm. perform a lot of tasks together. Mm. Mm. As Pastor Simon say, when we are united, we can perform a lot of things. Wow. Eh, that that you can't even know, like this building. It actually started like something as a car laughing just eh? Yes. But before we knew it, eh, we we're united and we have gone this far. We are going to put a roof up in our new auditorium. Mm. We are going to have a parking lot somewhere, some yes. nice parking lot. Yes. We are going to have a basketball court, which they are planning on putting up after they are done with the construction. Mm. They are also planning on putting up a small football pitch where people can play some football. Mm. We already have a set place which is here for volleyball. So you can imagine mm. the number of sports that shall be here, a variety. Yeah, so United we stand divided before. So we are going to sure. go for a short break. We are going to be right back. Amen. Thank you. All right, welcome back from that short break. Now we're going to be moving on to the general vassia of uh, the Deliverance Church uh, Uganda community that is soon to be ordained. Come the 10th of December 2023, it is going to be a beautiful, massive event held at Deliverance Church in Zambia. So you are all invited. Come one, come all, be there or be nowhere. Pastor Simon, talk to us about this. This. Um overseer of ours who is going to be ordain, obde, uh, ordained and then also the former overseer who is handing over that whole ceremony our expectations from it wow yes. this is a high profile function that's going to take place right mm. our at, at the headquarters of our ministry deliverance church uh in zambia yeah that is the headquarters of deliverance churches uganda ministries all right and so this ministry has over 600 churches. And so we, um, we have uh, we've got the outgoing overseer, uh, general overseer of this ministry of Deliverance Church in Uganda. Amen. Amen. That is Amen. Pastor Edward Chiwanuka, our papa, who has been with us for a good time. And he is now handing uh, over to the incoming as he is go outgoing. Mm. He is uh, handing over to uh, to Elder uh, Uncle Idembe, uh, Peter, um, who will be taking on leadership right from 10th of uh, this very month, December, mm. uh, right as is consecrated uh, on that day, all right? Mm. So we will be all witnesses, and so all of us are expected to be there, all right? And yeah. so there will be no services in the local churches, in our local churches. So all roads lead to Deliverance Church in, in Zambia, Zambia, the headquarters of Deliverance Church in Uganda. Mm. Amen. Amen. On 10th of December, this very month, right from 
at 9 a.m. the function begins onwards amen amen and so this is actually as i said from the very beginning a high profile function mm. this is um the top most kind of um succession that we we really need to appreciate uh and and that we need really to be part and parcel of amen, amen. make a contribution towards it in physical attendance and um and uh, in 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 in, in um, financial or material support all right that has mm. been called upon amen for each one of us to contribute as the lord enables each one of us amen yes. amen. amen generously so this is i would liken this to uh the moses joshua succession all right mm. uh that we see in the bible very clear mm -hmm. all right moses had to hand over to to joshua, joshua to take on the people, the children of Israel, um, uh, to another level uh, that God wanted them to go to. So, it's the same thing with our papa. And we have a policy, uh, uh, by right, at this very ministry, or in our ministry, uh, Deliverance Church Uganda, that at 65 years, mm. uh, you hand over to the next, or uh, to the incoming, all right, to mm. another uh, person whom the Lord has um uh, uh, has a, uh, confirmed or identified all right so whom the lord has led you who has been the incumbent all right you mm. hand over to another at 65 yeah uh, so that's how it happens actually in our ministry it's a policy mm. amen so yes. and, 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 and so we need to embrace this so this is the elijah elisha kind of what um, um uh, you know uh, ministry or succession mm. amen? amen the david solomon kind of um, i mean uh, leadership i mean succession uh that is um, a transition of leadership so i can go and name and name and name, and name as transitions have taken place in the bible from one leader to another so god is a god of succession it is god's idea that mm. from generation to generation there should be always a uh, leadership continuity to maintain effectiveness in in, uh, in guidance of people uh, or continuity um, in, in leading of people of God from one generation to another. That's why the Bible says one generation will commend the works of God to another in the book of Psalms. So the generation of our outgoing uh, overseer uh, mm. is now commending the works of God to the incoming overseer. Amen. Amen. Isn't this wonderful? Yes. Mm. Our dear sisters and brothers, let's embrace this seriously and let us be there physically on that day. Unless otherwise, please, let's make it a point. Let yes. all roads lead there. Mm. I tell you, the Lord will bless us all in a special way. And you are going to witness wonderful things there. Of course, we will not be just hungry over there. There will be a wonderful service. I mean, um, people will be attended too. Amen? Amen. Yes. So there will be, you know, they, 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 you, you are not going to come back when you are hungry there. So mm. the Lord is a God of provision. So it's a fully fledged function. So be there. Yes. And don't miss to be there. So I call upon the young generation, I call upon the middle-aged, I call upon the elderly, please, well-wishers, let's be there together. Mm. And, I, and, uh, and the Lord will be glorified. Yes. May the Lord bless you mightily. Amen. Amen. Well, thank you very much, uh, Pastor Simon, for that. And then uh, uh, we, all, we all know that uh, this occasion is going to be quite big. And we invite all of you to be there. Yes. And uh, we are going to talk about something small about uh, last Sunday. Pastor has uh, a few points on it, and uh, we shall call it a day. All right. Uh, thank you, my dear brother and our dear audience. Mm. Now, last Sunday we had our papa, uh, our very own papa here. Pastor Titus. Pastor Titus Masiga Oundo uh, shared, actually, a sermon that I would love to allude to in a few points here and there. Mm. And... Uh, it was so clear. You'll get it on YouTube. You can log on um, and, and uh, or log in actually and get everything there. But I would love just to point out something that he emphasized. Mm. That really uh, we need to, uh, to, to, to start 
uh, our ministries or whatever we do in this life that we walk or in salvation, whatever mm. office that you hold, start well, mm. walk well. So those are the points mm. I'm, I'm, I'm pointing out. And the third one is finish well. Amen. Amen. And he gave some quotations over there. And that, that I want to point out some key ones. Uh, 2 Timothy 4, 7 to 8. Just find there exactly how, what does Paul say? For him he labored in ministry as an apostle. And so when he came to his point, uh, the, the, the point, uh, uh, the point where now he was uh, handing over, um, commending ministry to another generation, those of Timothy, those of Titus, those, and all those whom he addressed as his spiritual sons and daughters, okay? He made a statement, and in 2 Timothy, as I pointed out, 2 Timothy 4, 7 to 8, he says, I have done what? I've fought a good fight, I've run the race, mm. and, uh, but I've kept the faith. Amen? And Amen. then in verse 8, he talks of now the crown awaits for me. Uh, for me. Yeah, and all the, the faithful ones, okay? So, now, so which means uh, that uh, we should ensure we as people of the generation, Mm. Are people who are walking, um, who are in this faith, the Christian faith, people who have taken up offices, people called by the Lord into ministry. You know you have a calling upon your life, a particular gifting here and there. Please ensure that you start well, walk well, and finish well in your calling, in your discipline of service. Whether you are an usher, a person in the choir, a person who is called into hospitality, mm. a minister of hospitality, a person who is a, uh, called into leadership of some nature, um, um, gifts vary based on Romans 12, 6 onwards, and 1 Corinthians chapter 12 and chapter 14. You see them that they, they vary. You look at it uh, at your own time. And so, um, um, I'm calling upon the young generation, the middle aged and the elderly. All of us, whatever the calling that you have, whatever office that you have, uh, that you, 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 whatever kind of placement that you have in the kingdom of God, please start well, walk well, finish well. Amen. Amen. Uh, the other thing, of course, uh, that I would love to uh, point out as a scripture is that really uh, for you to ensure that you really fulfill these three points, starting well in your calling, Working well and finishing well, then you have to ensure that First Corinthians nine twenty seven should be true. You have to have discipline, a personal discipline as a sister and a brother, walking in accordance with uh, uh, the light of the Word of God. Psalm one hundred and nineteen one zero five. That is, that helps us a, a lot, so that we keep ourselves in the boundaries of the Word of God. The Bible says there that the Word of God is a lamp unto my Fit and a light, light unto my, my path. path. When we do that, all will be well. And so, say, uh, uh, Second Timothy four seven to eight will be fulfilled in mm -hmm. everyone's life. And so, and then the other thing, of course, is Genesis eleven. Is we need to embrace that. Speak one language. When we speak one language, um, I tell you, that helps us to iron out what we call disunity. And remember Ephesians chapter 4, mm. it emphasizes the aspect of unity in the body of Christ. We need to be united in one accord, one goal, one purpose, one everything, in one spirit. Knowing very well that we are one baptism, one spirit, one Lord, everything the same. So therefore, our dear brothers and sisters, it, this is a great call unto us to be united in purpose. And pursue the goal as one. And I tell you, because uh, and, and I tell you that we shall achieve much. And we shall be able to, to mm. do everything to start well, work mm. well, and finish well. Amen. Amen. And so the devil will not have any chance or any opportunity to come and, mm. uh, and, 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 and dis, uh, disorganize or destroy the work of the kingdom of God. Mm. So, united we stand. Divided we fall. We fall. Mm. It's as simple as that. 
Amen. So God bless you mightily. For sure. Amen. Thank Amen. You. Yeah. Uh, th thank you. Uh, it has been a very wonderful program. Mm. And uh, we are inviting you for our overnight mm. uh, that is coming up tomorrow. Uh, mm. uh, sorry, on Friday by 9 p.m. Mm. here. Mm. Our lead pastor will be anchoring that uh, program here. And so just uh, make our time to be part of uh, this overnight. It's going to be the last overnight for the year. And so it's, it's almost going to be a sort of a Thanksgiving overnight. Uh, you need to come and let's tarry together and tell God thank you for leading us throughout uh, and bringing us to first of the month of uh, December. Mm. So please, we're inviting you to be part of that. We're also inviting you for our children's service that will be coming up on the 17th of uh, December. It's going to be a, a, a big event. Mm. Uh, the children are preparing seriously for that service on the 17th. Yes. Uh, there is a T-shirt. You can get one for yourself for Tati care. And if you have a little child, you can get one for that child uh, for 25K. With a team, the journey to Bethlehem. Yes. Uh, and it's taken from Psalm 50... 59 or so. Unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, mm. and the government shall be upon his shoulder. So yes. it's a wonderful uh, event that will be coming up mm. while we are gearing up towards Christmas. Mm. And uh, we are happy to have you here today. Yes. Thank you very much. Mm. Back mm. to Alinda David. Amen. Oh yes, thank you very much, Senator, for that. And uh, we are finally coming to a close to our session for today. Thank you for joining us. It has been uh, another beautiful evening, though kind of cold, but still beautiful, amazing. The Lord has blessed us. We have energy. We have ministered to you guys. So thank you for joining us today. Until next time, I remain Alinda David Mumbi. Yes, I remain Pastor Simon uh, Anyonga, uh, pastoral assistant at this very altar of Deliverance Church, Chira. I love you so much, and the Lord loves you even much more. May the Lord bless you mightily. Amen. Amen. I remain the senator. Thanks for having me here today. Well, until next time, guys, next week shall be here, same time, waiting for you. Amen. <laughs>